welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. Today, as you can see, I have my crock pot out. I'm gonna make something very simple, easy, and delicious. With these summer months upon us, I love to bring out my crock pot. Keeps me from making anything in the oven or the stove, heating up the whole house. So, I'm gonna let the crock pot do the work today. I'm gonna to be making chicken fajitas. And then all you have to do is put your favorite things that you love about fajitas into the crock pot and let it simmer for hours. Okay guys, if you're ready for this one, pull out your chicken, some beautiful vegetables, which I have right here, some different colored peppers and onions, your salsa and taco seasoning. Okay, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. I have over 500 recipes out on my channel. Go check them out, you guys, and tell me your favorites. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, cut my peppers into strips. Now, as many colors as you can get on your peppers, oh, it'll make a really nice fajita. Or you can use, you know, just your green peppers or whatever colors that you can find or want. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take off all four sides. And then I'm just gonna cut these into strips. And then just keep in mind that these are gonna sit in the crock pot for hours. So you wanna make them big strips so you don't lose the peppers. <laughs> they don't melt away in the crock pot. Now, if you don't like peppers, you can certainly put in a lot of onions or other things that you like in your fajitas. Green one here. Okay, now I'm bringing out the onions. So I'm using a large yellow onion here and I'm just gonna cut these into strips also. Now, if you wanna use red onions, you can do that also. So I'm just gonna take off the ends, take out that outer layer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half. Then I'm just gonna cut it into strips. Now again, with the onions, you wanna make sure that you do big strips. The onions will melt in your crock pot for hours. So the bigger you can make them, the better. That way you can find them when you're putting them onto your fajitas. Okay guys, that's all the prep that you're gonna to need to do. Okay, let's go ahead now and call a dump and go fajitas in the crock pot here. Now, I'm gonna put half a cup of your favorite salsa into the bottom of your crock pot any flavor you like. Just gonna flip that around. This will keep our chicken from sticking to the bottom there. All right, what we're gonna do now is place our chicken into the bottom of the crock pot on top of the salsa. Now, I'm just using chicken tenders here because it'll cook faster, but you can certainly use whole chicken breast and just cut those into strips. If you wanna use thigh meat, I would just be careful with the thigh meat because it'll shred right away in the crock pot. So just be careful when you're using thigh meat. But we're gonna use this right here. About one and a half pounds to two pounds of chicken you wanna put in there. Now don't worry if you have to layer some of that chicken because the rest of that salsa is gonna go on top of the veggies and will seep down in there. So it'll all get seasoned and flavored. All right, I'm gonna take one tablespoon of taco seasoning. Now this is my homemade taco seasoning that I keep in a jar here. And I have a recipe and a video for it and I'll link both of those down below in my description box if you wanna make your own homemade taco seasoning because you can really control the flavor of how you like it. So I'm just gonna take a tablespoon of this right now, sprinkle that over the chicken. All right, in come all of the peppers and the onions. I'm gonna lay them all on top of the chicken here. Oh, that does look good. Okay, let's go ahead now and mimic the same flavor profile. We're gonna use the other half of our salsa. Now you can keep it mild, you can keep it medium, or you can do hot. Now if you wanna add jalapenos in here, you can do that. 
and I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of my taco seasoning over that. Now it's, yes, it is mounded there. <laughs> Flavor it up, you guys. Okay, guys, that's it right here. All right, all we're gonna do now is place our lid on. Now we're gonna cook this on high for two and a half to three hours or low between four to six hours. You just wanna make sure that your chicken is nice and tender and cooked through and your veggies are nice and soft. Now, if you're using a frozen chicken, you need to give it some more time and keep an eye on it. About another, probably another hour, hour and a half for each, um, either on high or low. Okay, so what I'm gonna do after this is done is show you what we're gonna do after this. Okay guys, I'll be back. Okay, my chicken, peppers, and onions are ready. What I'm gonna do is pull my chicken out and then I'm gonna shred it and then place it back into my mixture here. Yeah, look at that, it is just falling apart. Okay, here's all the chicken that I shredded. I'm gonna place it back into my crock pot and let it absorb all those flavors and juices. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead now and mix this all together. Doesn't that look good? Make some refried beans, some rice. I'm gonna put these on some tortillas, jazz it up, and I'm gonna try one for you. Okay guys, why go anywhere for chicken fajitas? Make your own and let your crock pot do all the work for you during these hot summer days. Let me take a bite for you guys. Mm. Oh my gosh. It is so flavorful. As flavorful as what you put into your crock pot, you guys, your taco seasoning and your salsa makes all the difference in the, the world. Okay, if y'all like any of the things that I was using through my show today, like these taco stands, check it out on my description box down below. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification if you are new to my channel. Give me a thumbs up for my crock pot chicken fajitas. Guys, I will see you on my next episode.